right? And I know that certain people, when they get fame really quick, it'll tear you apart, f you up. And it's good to kind of have people, even if we're not, we not going to eat dinner together every night, do no but yeah. I genuinely, you know, I'm a real nigga. And, I, and so we cool. We, I, maybe a year ago, I told my fans, like, yo, if you want a Lupe verse, I'll write it for you for 500. It'll be yours. You can't put it on Twitter. It's yours. Like, don't leak to do whatever, you know, it's yours. And Cuddy went on Twitter and was like, yo, Lupe, what you going to do with that money? I'm like, nigga, it's 500. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm thinking he joking. Yeah. I'm like, bro, what you, what you mean? What you what you gonna do with your money? Or what, the same thing I do with verses that I don't personalize for niggas. And he stopped tweeting at me, so I couldn't see what he was tweeting. And then I got I caught wind of like, you just see all these cutty fans like, Lupe, da -da 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 -da. and I look at what this nigga wrote, and he like, yo, Lupe trying to swindle his fans. I would never do my fans like that. That sound like some bull sound like he trying to rob niggas to do all this stuff. And I, Barry's right there, my right hand to God. The first person I call Barry, I say, yo, give me the cutty number. If I see him, I'm knocking him. Because mm -hmm. I, I want to get to the bottom of what the you talking about. Mm -hmm. Because it's me. The same nigga you went in complex and was like the only nick, one of the only niggas who reached out to me genuinely and had love for me was Lupe. But now I'm some thief. Mm -hmm. Now I can't find you. Right? Nobody knows and who you bring are. bring up the fact, like, nigga, you sold me clothes. <laughs> so, like, I would always, like, hide in the stock room. Who did you hide from? So, like, and this is, and this is funny, but I was laughing about this, right? Lupe Fiasco came to the store one day. He was in the store. I was in the bag, and they was like, yo, Lupe's here. I was like, oh, stay down the stairs, waited till he left. And I was, like, I was like, yo, what you down here for? And I explained it to my dude. Same way I explained it to you. I was like, yo, bro, if I get famous one day, right? I don't ever want this nigga saying, like, yo, you so me clothes, you my son. You know what I'm saying? We can't have that. <laughs> like, this was my explanation. <laughs> and yo, bro, when you think about it, he hates me to this day. He hates me. So it's like, it's like I was right. I was on something. I sensed something in the universe, you know? So this is like my, my plan at that time, you know? I was like totally hyper aware that something was going to happen for me. And, you know, I was just like, I can't have nobody making no diss record. Like, yeah, you rang me up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Later and bring up the fat like, nigga, you sold me clothes. <laughs> so like, yo, yo, it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in. And once again, that timeline got the timelining and pushing the chaos directly to a nigga. As Lupe Fiasco turned up on Twitter today, after he caught a glimpse of Kid Cudi new interview on Apple Music. And I had a link in the description where you can watch this in full at. And I put that clip in the beginning from the old Sway interview when it's initially kicked off at back in 2015. But it sparked back up after this interview that Kid Cudi did on Apple where he brought up. Lupe Fiasco and talked about how he used to work in a vape store and he used to go to the stock room and be in the stock room or whatever because he was trying to be a rapper and he was rapping and stuff and he didn't want certain rappers to see him there because he felt like they'll look down on him and talk down on him and clown him like nigga you sold me clothes before and he brought up Lupe Fiasco name in the new year so Lupe Fiasco went to Twitter and went all the way in Kid Cudi is a beat and continues to be a beat Ain't nobody for the bring up he used to work at the bank store to diss his B.A. For having a regular job before he was a famous B with the cool job. Then he responded to somebody on Twitter that said, Lupe, I am switching a long way, but the but this got to stop. Why did he even, why did you even watch the interview knowing you don't like this man? He said, I honestly caught wind of it scrolling through fan comments. And I'm like, what the F is this B talking about now with my name? He hid from me in the bank store back in the day because he didn't want me to use it against him when he got famous. What? Like a job shame? Then he said, I want to beat this nigga up so bad I'm getting a migraine. Fast forward. He mentions that in the interview. Every time I see Cuddy, I ask if he good, etc. Plus, I'm a fan of this nigga, so I'm happy to see him rise. Time passes. The next time I see him is at a show in L.A. It's me, ASAP Rocky, and a few other niggas. Again, same energy. Show love. And he takes it back to explain what he was speaking on in the beginning of the video why he was so mad. 
Now follow this next part carefully. Fast forward, I'm on Twitter offering my fans a personal verse for like $500. You pick the beat, the concept, I rap it, make the dope one-of-one -one art package for it. No copies, just the one you own. People vibing with it. Boom. Cuddy tweets me out of nowhere and asks, what you gonna do with the money from those verses? I'm taking aback and I'm thinking he playing, so I respond, what you gonna do with the money from those $1,500 Zanotti collabs? He had just did a collab with them around the same time. And then Kid Cuddy has now responded and they kind of been talking about it and everything. He said, I want to get in contact with you, Kid Cuddy, coming with the little apology type vibes. And once again, Keeping it a thousand with y'all. Kid Cudi is one of them slick, weird old weasel type niggas, as I told y'all before. You knew when you went in this interview what that was going to do and how you was trying to take a jab at dog and manipulate the situation. Now you come on Twitter talking about, oh, it's good. I got, you know, da da da. Nah, bro. Just like he did recently when I told y'all he said that about the dress. The nigga tried to tie that to being a black man and expressing himself as a black man and everybody's just hating on him and he should be able to express himself. Nah, nigga, talking about it got something to do with God. God created this for him. No, nigga, you took an opportunity. Two years ago, you wore a dress multiple times throughout that year and did a fake arrangement for a wedding or a fake wedding with a white dude. And you called that being with a black man, I despise of Kid Cudi behavior. I don't hate nobody. I just dislike how you come off. You a manipulator, Vanessa, you all about yourself, my nigga, and you will do whatever it takes to get in position. You will sell your soul, say slick stuff about niggas, throw rocks and hide your hands, nigga. You really suck as a person to me for that. I don't like people who do the manipulating things, say little slick stuff, and then try to act like they didn't mean it in a certain way. You bought, brought that nigga name, uh, Lupe name up, bro. And you play at both sides of it. I can't stand with niggas do stuff like that. But it is what it is with certain niggas, bro. That dress stuff, out of pocket, out of line. It is what it is. Don't try to tie that next to God or with you being a black man. Tell me what y'all think. We got more coming, more videos. All that. 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot.